Hello and welcome to this week's special episode of Bacon and Eggs, or we like to call it Sunday Brunch. Howdy. Uh, today, howdy, howdy, howdy. Happy Sunday. Uh, as always, I am one of your hosts, Tyler Carlin. And I am the other host, Stephen Colbert. That's right. No, I'm Ethan Edgehill. I'm not uh, Stephen Colbert. I had you fooled, didn't I? Yeah, gotcha. Nope, gotcha. Nope, I know who Zing! You, uh, you thought so you were on week, Skype with Stephen Colbert. You lame. This week we are going to go completely off the rails. We're not even going to talk about going Marvel. Up the we're going to. We're just going to see train. if you guys are even remotely interested in some of the other things we're interested in. So this weekend, Ethan and I are going to be taking the Pottermore Sorting Quiz, uh, which I'm sure you could tell from the title of this episode, and uh, we're going to see what Hogwarts houses we end up in, and does it do Ilvermorny as well? And I don't know anything about it. does this. do Ilvermorny, and we can also pick our wands and our Patronuses, it looks like. You can pick it, or you just get you can, it? Well, you can, you can, you can be sorted into your wand. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Carlin. Very nice. Very good impression, but there are American wizards now, so you can just all in plain speak. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know what the American wizards have to say about the wand chooses the wizard. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Edgehill. Yeah, I mean, I guarantee you, what was the American wand maker's name? Not Grindelwald. That's I have no, no idea. Literally no idea. Uh, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. We do apologize for right any in. extra typing or clicking you hear in this episode. It's, it's going to be just a... N not something we can avoid. Okay, so we're going to click on Be Sorted and Discover Your House. Wait a minute, what? Where do you see that? All I see is sorting at the top of the screen. Uh, well, click on the top of the screen part that says sorting. I was Okay, okay. It's referring to me as Bacon because I used our Bacon and Eggs email address. By okay. the way, if you'd ever like to contact Ethan or I, you can join our Bacon and Eggs fan page on Facebook that we introduced uh, this past Thursday. It's in called our... Bacon and Eggs Fans. Yeah, yeah. If you have There'll be a, a link hard... in the doobly-doo. Yeah, a link in the description. Um... Oh, which we introduced, obviously, this past Thursday, uh, which is in the future for us because this is Tuesday. But you're this listening Monday. to this on Sunday. It is Monday. It's, 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 it's uh, got a case of the Mondays, Ethan. Call, yeah, we do. I'm going to call, call you Garfield and you call me John. Nope. 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 Not going to do that. I'm nope. definitely okay. Rudy. I clicked sorting and nothing happened. You're definitely Rudy? Yeah. Who's Rudy? Isn't he the dog? Odie's the dog. Odie! <laughs> Rudy. Join I was your thinking Hogwarts about Sean Astin. I've been watching too much uh, too much Stranger Things. Oh, okay. So there's there's different links for each house. Okay. For each... No, for each school. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. So, so there's so the, click the on the Discovery, Hogwarts one. We're going to start with the Hogwarts house. Okay. Begin and be sorted. And then and then don't read the story. Just do the quiz. Uh, there's the sorting hat. That's a story. Oh, okay. Begin the experience of the sorting yeah. ceremony. We're just so going to go ahead and dive question? right in. Uh, forest or river? Forest or river? Okay, my first question is moon or stars. Okay. Um, do I tell people what I answer or do I just answer? I, I guess you tell people. I'm going moon. Avi, it's moon. Moon is way better than stars. I okay, go... Well, I'm going to go with moon. I go river. River, okay. If so you were attending like Hogwarts, river. which pet would you choose to take with you? Uh, what are your options? Oh, I'm sorry. We've got a tabby cat, Siamese cat. Ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, natterjack toad. I can tell you. Oh, there's more. Uh, dragon toad, harlequin toad, or the three toad tree toad. There's definitely none of those. Uh, three what toad is your question? tree toad by the tea toad. My question is: A troll's gone berserk in the hog headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreparable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from a trolls club if you could and then um my answers are there's so there's three three things there's a, a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox uh, student records going back a thousand years and the mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes so those are my three options and i can pick different orders to to take them in okay well before while you're thinking about that i'm just gonna go ahead and answer my question i'm gonna take a barn owl uh because i think my grandmother would really appreciate that and also toads are disgusting you're as go, are you're gonna go with cats, barn owl yeah cats are just out of the question uh if i could take like a mutt that would be ideal but uh looks like that's not an option so i'm gonna go with the the nearly perfected cure for dragon pox first and then the student records and then the runes you don't care about the runes that's interesting i don't know that i would have done the same well that's why we're different people yep. oh i get the pet question now um okay well we already know the options for that one right so i'm gonna go with definitely screech owl screech owl tell me why i just like owls are dope dude have you seen screech owls they're so cool and Hashtag i feel like Hoot i squad i feel like i can't pick snowy owl i feel like that's just like too diving into the 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 book you know being like because like wait I, i've never seen a snowy owl in real life you're you're a wizard larry so i'm gonna go with screech owl screech what's, so your, both what's owl your next types. questions uh my next um, question is 
Oh, what? Did you have a I comment? was going to say owls like my spirit animal. Like, that's obviously a thing. Hashtag Hoot Squad. Uh, Ethan's background on his phone is an owl. Well, it's it not, was. actually. It, it was for years. It is not currently. Well, so my next question is, what kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Uh, and I, we're going to assume that these are just the most virtuoso players playing, like, the most pleasing thing to my ear. So you, what are your okay. options? So I can choose between a violin, a trumpet, uh, a piano, and a drum. I also okay. want to note the colors that these are on because I think that influences my answer here, right? The drum is on blue, which makes me think that the drum is more like a xylophone played with yarn strings. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That's not a drum, though. It's percussion. And a, You mean yarn mallets? Yeah. I'm making sure I know what you're talking about because like, if you play a, yeah. a xylophone with a string, it might produce a different timbre. That's true. Timbre. Uh, the piano is on a purple background, so that's making... I actually have no idea what that makes me think. What does that mean to you? Um, it sounds regal. Regal? Okay. Now, the trumpet is on a red background, like a like a visceral red. Uh, so that makes me think it's, like, kind of harsh. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to give credit where credit is due to the background colors I'm being prescribed. So here. what are you leaning toward? And then the violin is on sort of like an aqua background. Uh, I actually – what do you think I'm leaning towards? Uh, I mean, you were a trumpet player. I was a trumpet player. I was very – But, like, little... pleasing? I don't know. Pleasing. Well, I mean, I've listened to trumpet players that are the most pleasing thing you can hear. I will say that. Okay, so we're talking virtuoso, yeah. so best you can play. But here's here's always my argument, is that the violin is literally horsehair over metal strings producing a screeching noise, and 20 people can do it at the same time and put me to sleep. Yeah. That, to me, is incredible. Yeah. Like, that is the most <laughs> You're not un- wrong. It is just unbelievable it, thing. But a, a solo violin is even kind of unpleasant sometimes. Right. I mean, especially if you don't know how to play, it's extremely unpleasant. Um, so I, I just want to make that note about the violin. I think... Because of who I am, because of what I do, there's literally a trumpet right next to me, and because I've listened to the greatest trumpet players in the world, uh, I'm going to have to say trumpet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so I've got, how would you like to be known to history? You can be the wise, the good, the great, or the bold. I think Ethan is the bold. You think I'm the bold? I think Ethan is the bold. See, I was leaning towards the wise. I don't think you're very wise. I, I, my headspace would like to disagree with you. Mm. <laughs> you're saying you have a big head. I, I literally have a big head. I, I wear like an eight in I new era new era fitted cap side. It's like the biggest they make. Oh. I mean, it's your quiz. What? How would you write? I, like I, I mean, I'm going with the wise. Okay. Okay. I think that's how I'd uh, like to be remembered. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So one of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come to the top of class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill what do you do do i lie and say i don't know but hope that somebody else tells professor flitwick the truth do i tell professor flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth you will do i tell professor flitwick the truth if your classmate is prepared to win by cheating he deserves to be found out also as you are both in the same house any points he loses will be regained by you uh for coming first in his place and you would not wait to be asked to tell professor flitwick the truth if you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill you would tell the teacher before the exam started i'm trying to think of like the the hidden variable here is the points for the house yeah right because as a student i was not about cheating i took our honor code at our college very seriously that i will not lie cheat or steal uh but like mama ain't raised no snitch though well i I actually also am not a firm believer in snitches get stitches, uh, because then the person who snitches the snitch also deserves to get beat. Uh, so I think that's some backwards logic. Oh no, you don't get beat. You just get stitches. Right. That's beat. No, 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 no. You just, you just have to go to the, you're like legally required to go to the hospital and get stitched up. Gotcha. It's just very unpleasant. Gotcha. Here's, I, I, I don't mind. Like the, the reason I didn't care about cheaters in college though, is like, I didn't do it, but I know other people did like blatantly. I usually didn't let people cheat off of my exam or homework or whatever. Right. Uh, but I didn't care because there was no competition to be the like number one. Yeah. So that's our hidden variable here. Believe the valedictorian would disagree with you. Well, mm, there was no. Um, listen, I was <laughs> just saying. I was walking across that stage. Luckily, <laughs> like <laughs> not because I was competing to be number one. <laughs> I, I guess even if there was a competition to be number one in the class, I was not play- I was not participating. <laughs> Nobody invited me to that game. I was picked right. dead last. Right. Um, so in this scenario, I'm already number one, and somebody is challenging my throne. I think I think I tell Professor Flitwick the truth, like before he even asks. Well, in this scenario, he is he's drawn me to one side. 
Well, no, but like so. there's a one that says like before he even asks, you would just be like, hey, profe, what's up, buddy? I think I honestly, I probably would. I think I would. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you? Yeah, you can't ask. It's your quiz, bro. I know. I know. But like if I know the person next to me is cheating to. I don't know, but you're spending a long ask, time on this question. I know. If, my, if I know somebody, I think I think I say I know that they're cheating if as he approaches me. Sounds like he's approaching me because he's suspicious. Because he's suspicious. So he's like, yo, Dave kind of got a really high mark and Dave normally sucks. And you're right. like, yeah, Dave was using the spell quill or whatever. Right, right. I, I That's what I would say. Okay, fair yeah. enough. So okay. my, my question okay. is, once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, what would it smell of? And I, my options are... The sea, a crackling log fire, home, or fresh parchment. Home is not a smell, for starters. Like This is such an interesting question for you since you like have such a weak sense of right, smell. Right, and, and it's, it's, dude, it's fire all day long. That's like one of the things that I can really smell. Okay, so you go for the fire? All, all day long. I love the smell of fire. Like, like burnt out matches, best smell in the whole world. Oh, I totally agree. That's what we do when somebody farts at my house. Or maybe like next to gasoline. <laughs> like Those I, things you shouldn't put together. No, though. not I'll together, but they smell you. really good. They do smell really good. Okay, go ahead. I hear you there. You got a question. Okay, yeah. So uh, I have the question now that a troll has gone berserk and the headmaster study at Hogwarts is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects? From so the you're going to take the, the, the runes, you're going to take the uh, the student records, or the uh, dragon, dragon pox. pox. So it's runes, student records, or dragon pox. Yep. Uh, in what here's order? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Um, I like the idea of strange runes. I also like the idea of the student records. And I don't think dragon pox is a huge problem in our society today. Well, I think right. it, I think it was. I think that's why they haven't cured it yet. Clearly. Nearly perfected cure. But on the flippity floppity, if you make this a little bit more today, right? It's like, I guess it's just today. But like, uh, it's, assume instead of dragon pox, it was a cure for cancer. Obviously, that's what you go for first. Right. Right. Uh, student records only affect this school. Right. And it is a thousand years of student records. And that's important. Uh, but it really, like, it's not, big world implications not that important. So I think uh, this handwritten book full of strange runes could be extremely important. Okay. Uh, so I think I go for the cure for dragon pox. Okay, dragon pox. And then the runes. Then the runes, then the... And then the student okay, records. Okay, perfect. Is that what you did? No, I did um, dragon pox records runes. I just, I mean, like, it's important, but is it is it that important? I'm, I mean, honestly, this question is dumb. Like, I can grab three pieces of paper. I'm not that bad at math. Not math, magic. It's true. Like, I can grab, it sounds like three pieces of paper, or maybe like two books and a piece of paper. Mm. Anyway, what are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition? Uh, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will is the direction next to that. Uh, transfiguration, turning one object into another. Flying on a broomstick. Hexes and jinxes. Uh, all about magical creatures. Nope. Uh, yeah, no. Secrets about the castle. Nope. Or every area of magic I can. I think there's only... I have the same question here. And from my perspective, there's only two possible good answers to this. Okay. What All the rest are garbage. Uh, apparition, apparition, and disapparition. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Transfiguration, also awesome. Yep. The rest of these I don't care about. Well, I mean, every area of magic I can covers everything. Like That's true. That's true. But it but sounds it's like... Right, it's cop I don't do cop-out answers. Right. And plus, well-rounded characters are a waste of time. It's not like you're playing Mario and Mario Kart. You either play Toad or you play Right, DK, so it's the same know? It's the same question. Like, if you could have a new superpower, what superpower would you have? Right. It's like, do we want to teleport or do we... Here's... here's I'm leaning towards apparition and disapparition on this one because it's, it's definition for transfiguration is turning one object into another not, yeah, object. Yeah, not like yourself. Not... Not turning into yeah. another object. So I'm, yeah, I'm also going with apparition to disapparition. Because teleporting is literally the coolest thing ever. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So that's, I mean, that's an easy one. I've got late at night walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you A, proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance? B, draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise? C, draw your wand and stand your ground? Or D, withdraw into the shadows and await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur? Um, that's a good one. What would you do? I, I think, I mean, I know myself pretty well and I'm, I'm not a, a run into trouble kind of guy. Really? You're non-confrontational? Not non-confrontational. It's like, I don't want to get shot. I mean, I jive with that. Like, but you are defending yourself with a weapon better than guns. Right. But like, I, I kind of like want to have a plan of action first. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to wait developments. Okay. Commit. I'm committing. Okay. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you A, love, B, glory, C, wisdom, or D, power? 
Uh, this one to me is a super easy answer. Easy one. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't think you can manufacture love. I don't think you can manufacture oh, really? glory. Yeah. No, definitely not. Really? Wait, you think love is like the obvious I answer? I think love is the obvious answer. Yeah. Do you think this, so you can use it yourself or you can sell it? Um, well, I think that just like the implications, the other ones are terrifying. I think the implication of love is terrifying. I think it's less terrifying than glory, power, or wisdom. Oh, I think wisdom is the obvious answer here. I think power, horrifying. That can totally go in the you know, wrong No, power is the wrong answer. Like, sorry. Yeah. Glory, uh, fame is nice, but wisdom will probably grant you, grant you glory. Uh, and love, I think, is easy enough to come across without I guess so but I'm, I'm not I guess I wasn't thinking it was like romantic love it's just like making people love you in general like being well loved go, I think I, I was thinking like a love potion like in Harry Potter gotcha yeah I, I mean I, I agree with that I was I was coming out from a different direction there was like some like I don't know it may be a TED talk that I watched about this like I, topic that kind of steered I me think, in that direction but I think you're right I think wisdom's the, the correct answer yeah I think like the other one like the love potion scares me because of what happened to that girl and or because of what happened to Ron right uh the power can't go good no and and glory, like what I've never really understood the appeal of manufactured glory. Okay, so my question, you're going with you're going with wisdom. Wisdom, yeah, okay. easy choice. My question is easy. Easy. Left or right? Left. Because you're left. Oh, and I'm sorted. My last question is black or white. Um I make it a point I'm just gonna go buy my t shirt now, choice here. I wear a, Here's what's what, interesting is we didn't get all the same questions. Is this my last question? I would imagine. I, I'm curious to know what you're sorted into. Uh can I explain yeah, go my for answer it. Go on for this it. one? Yeah. So I, I think off. I think uh white is by far the obvious choice here. Um, uh, because I, I make it a point to never wear a black t-shirt I do for as any well. reason. I do as well. Uh, I have to wear them for my band, but that's about it. Yeah. And, uh, I think just black just in general looks bad. Uh, and like, if you painted the walls of your room black, it would be a miserable experience. If you painted them white, you probably wouldn't notice them. Yes. Uh, so I'm going with white. Okay. It's, yeah. Select. So you're sorted? I am sorted. Okay. Who, my who sorting, my sorting has not changed from my youth. Mine has not either. I'm curious as to what you were sorted into then. Okay, so what what, is, what do you what do you think what do you think I was sorted? Into? Okay, let, let's. I'm gonna guess that you you know what I'm sorted into. I don't. If it hasn't changed, remember. Okay, I'm actually pretty proud right now. I've actually got like chills. I'm gonna guess that you got Gryffindor. No, Slytherin. No, really? Yeah, I had no, no idea that. I'm gonna guess that you got Gryffindor. I did not. Or Slytherin. No, really. Really, we are both B list houses. B list house. I am no. There's a C list house and there's a B list house. Uh and the C list house is not the one I'm in. I would agree uh, with that. <laughs> sorry, Seamus. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Wait, was, I am, Seamus was Gryffindor. Oh, no, no, no. Seamus, Seamus that visited Jonathan and Ben the other week. Oh, Seamus Gorman. Yeah. I thought you talking about Seamus Finnegan. No, you remember, oh, you remember when you got into Twitter beef with Seamus oh, Finnegan? Oh, my God. Oh, I hate some Seamus Finnegan. Oh, my least favorite character. Least favorite. Yeah. All you do is get blown up in every movie, but Neville's the comic relief. What is your point? Oh, gosh. Uh, so, what are you? I think I think we were sorted into the same house. I I think we probably were. I was sort of in a Raven. I was also sort of in Ravenclaw. I knew it. I knew it because there's there's obviously a C list house here, right? Yeah, Hufflepuff. Uh, Hufflepuff is the the dumb house, right? Uh, and then Ravenclaw is the awesome house. Ravenclaw is the smart and, house. Yes, Ravenclaw is yeah. Uh, let's let's read more about our house. Uh, you probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. But did you know Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost, or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds? Here you can discover more about blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you have to um, answer riddles to get into the house. That is so neat. Yeah, so it's the house for clever people. I had a feeling this was going to be the case. Uh, I, I I know the wisdom question yeah. pointed me in this direction. Yeah. Um, and uh, I okay. like... So here's what I'm going to yeah. suggest real quick. We have seven-ish minutes left. Okay. So let's do wands. Should we do wands or Patronuses? Patroni. Patroni. Kunai with chain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 How do I get back uh, to... So, so we are both Ravenclaws. Interesting. Both Ravenclaws. I'm interested, I'm interested to see our Patroni. Okay. Jibroni. Discover your Patronus. I'm on the page. Click. 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 Um... It's loaded. Better with headphones. It says better with headphones. Is there going to be sound? I imagine. Oh, gosh. Oh, there is sound. You can't hear it, but we can hear it. Is there a quiz? There's a stag. Do you see a stag? I see a stag, yeah. The, the Patronus Patron is a kind of a positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. Remus Lupin. That was a nice quote. Okay. Discover your discover Patronus. Your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Oh, gosh. I hit begin. Oh, crap. Relax. Begin. Think of your happiest memory. Okay. Relax. Ooh. 
I'm locked in. Okay. Locked and loaded. Crack right. my knuckles. Right. Let's go. Okay. Happy, happiest memory. I don't know what my happiest memory is. Oh, I do. Okay. It was getting engaged. Okay. Like, I've got sun, days. wind, or rain. Sun. It was raining. What was your happiest memory? I, I don't think I know. I don't know if I want to say that. Oh. Bright or shadow? Mine bright. I prefer bright. Make or improve. Okay. Okay. We got this. Ooh, it's so like swirly. Lead, safer, escape. Oh, lead. I've got Easy. over, under, or around. Over. Okay. okay. We're going through a forest. Trying to like narrate this a little bit so it's not just silence. Oh. I saw a claw, or it might have been a fang. Keep going. What was that? Your Patronus is trying to form. Don't give up. Mine looked like a wing. Speaker silent. Uh, oh gosh. Speak. Uh, my, uh, why? Mine said who or why. And definitely why. Your Patronus is almost here. One more oh, question. My gosh. We're nearly there. Okay, this is exciting. I'm excited right now. Hope, trust, or love? Uh, Comfort, advise, impress. Love. I'm going to go with comfort. Okay. It says last question. So this is, should be it. I've got a lake, a placid lake. Am I going like to see my Patronus? No, it's more like a pond. Maybe like a large puddle. Click, drag, and release for your Patronus. I released. Your Patronus is a fox. My Patronus is a West Highland Terrier. Huh. Really? Yeah. A little, huh. little pupper. A little, little, little pupper. I thought, I thought mine was going to be some sort of dog-like creature. It looks like you got more of the canine than I did, though. I mean, yeah. Looks like it. Um, I was predicting a bird. Uh, yeah, I would have thought you would have gotten like an owl. Last time I did this, it was a bird. It was a bird? Mm-hmm. I'm a fox. Very cool. Yep. Okay, Very so cool. I've got a West Highland Terrier. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got four minutes left. Four minutes? Can we discover our wands that fast? I think we fast? can discover our wands that fast. Let's do it. Okay. Discover your wand. Begin the experience. Begin the experience. Okay. Oh, take your time and answer honestly. Whoops. Okay. To ensure we uh, find the perfect wand for you, it's very important you answer honor the, all the following questions honestly. First, you would describe yourself as average height, short, or tall. I am short. I am tall average? What do you think? I would say you're average. Average? My eyes. Six feet tall. And your eyes, uh, mine are green mine are also green. green there's a blue green and there's a green green uh was the day on which you were born an even number or an odd number even number. Ooh, we're different here mine was odd even number i'm december 1st do you most pride yourself on your kindness optimism determination resilience imagination intelligence or originality uh optimism or intelligence. Uh, mine's intelligence. I, I know that. I can be a little bit arrogant about that sometimes. Actually, you are like way smarter than I am, but I am a very optimistic person. Traveling uh, alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, right towards the castle? Um, if watching every Jurassic Park movie ever made has told me anything, it's go to the beach. Really? Because in the last one, the Leopleurodon eats the dry <laughs> It's a thing. Leopleurodon, Charlie. Do you <laughs> I'm going to go left towards the sea as well. You must fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights. Heights. Mm, isolation. In a chest of magical artifacts, would you choose the ornate mirror, the dusty bottle, the golden key, the silver dagger, the bound scroll, the glittering jewel, or the black glove? Golly, is this a game? Is this Skyrim right now? <laughs> I was thinking it was Clue. <laughs> I'm gonna go with golden key. Um, a key leads to more I, adventures. I de definitely not a dusty bottle or an ornate mirror. I, I think key. key is probably the right answer here. I've got a, I've got a wand. Oh, I do too. Okay, what is your wand? Um, you can't guess it, can you? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, twelve and a half inches, dragon heart string, really uh, springy. Uh, you got the inches pretty close. Uh, I have an elm wood with a unicorn core, unicorn hair core, twelve and a quarter inches, and pliant flexibility. Pliant flexibility. I've got vine wood. Unicorn hair core, 11 inches, and unyielding flexibility. Interesting. Yeah. More about my wand. Oh, there's a lot. Whoa. Oh, good lord. Yes, this is a lot of things. Okay. Wow. Yeah, nope. No, I'm not going to read all this. That's okay. I'm not going to read it all right now, but I am a Ravenclaw with an Elmwood wand. Ravenclaw with a Vinewood wand. And, and my Patronus, my Patronus is, is a Scottish. We are remarkably similar. We both had unicorn hair. Both had uh, Ravenclaw. Both had... Uh, 12 and a quarter inch. Yeah, but, I mean, mine was 11 inch, but we both oh. had like dog-like <laughs> creatures. Mine literally being a yeah. dog. Maybe that says something about this symbiotic relationship we've developed over the past 14 years. It's possible. It's possible. It's not impossible. Um, Emily Moore says, I love Harry Potter. I'm a Slytherin, according to Pottermore. Hmm, I'm going to guess you're a Slytherin and Ethan is a Ravenclaw, maybe? Zing also, bang! I love, love that you're going out of left field. And did she just say that in the Facebook group? Yeah. Wow, Emily Moore. Good for you. She got my house. That's awesome. Okay, um, so that's all the time we've got today here on Bacon and Eggs Sunday Brunch. Thank you for joining us, and it, in the comments below, or if you want to do this, go to our Facebook page, we'll have a, a post with this, um, go join our Facebook group, we'll have a post with this episode in there, comment your house below, we'd love to hear everybody's houses and, and everything like that, do your wands and all that. Um, I know some of my friends, but I would love to... to get to know some of my listeners a little bit better. We just want to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Thanks for listening to Sunday Brunch. 
we'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. You can't tackle a bridge. Mm, yep, yep, yep. 